Hello and welcome ITV Gaming here. In today's episode, I want to show you how to build this quartz mansion. As you can see, it is a quite lovely design. And to be honest, it is quite easy to build as well. Now, if you do not have access to quartz blocks, you can use concrete as well. So keep that in mind. And let me quickly show you the interior. This is the main entrance. And as you can see, we got two storage areas, one over here and another one over here. We got the first bedroom on this side. If we go down, we got another storage room. Also, we got a living room, enchanting room, a kitchen and a small library once more. Now, like I said, if you want to build along, there will be a list in the description with the requirements. And once you got everything, let's get started. The first thing what we're going to do is we're going to outline the build and we're going to start with the staircase. So you want to have a six high staircase. So let's get that in now. We've got four, five, and six. You want to repeat that on this side and skip two blocks like this and build up then you want to take some some brick stairs and add that in as well okay then you want to add two pillars on the sides like this add six iron blocks going that way one two three four five six and go up four blocks in total one two three four and then you can just fill this in afterwards add some stairs going across and then add another pillar on this side like this and here we go this is the basic shape for now and while you are at it add another pillar on this side now we are going to get the windows in to do that we want to go out eight blocks so let's do that this is at blo eight blocks in total and this is the basic shape for the windows and you want to do it this way so it's easier to follow along then you want to go out two blocks and then add another window, which is eight blocks wide. With a pillar on this side and repeat it going this way. And you get the idea. And now you want to go back. Once you are at this point, what you want to do is repeat this three more times on this side. Once you got that, it should look like this. Now we are going to go back in. You just want to repeat the same thing until you are aligned with this block right here and on this side what we're going to do is a little bit different so you want to keep that for the last part okay let's first finish up this okay here we go this is the edge as you can see it meets perfectly so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you go in from here Okay, so let's have two wide window on the edge. From here, you can repeat just the same thing once more. And you should end up with a perfectly symmetrical build. Here we go. The other side should look exactly, uh, I mean, this side should exactly the same. You can fill this in with some quartz blocks or make a window like I do. Now, the shape for the windows is quite simple. You want to build this all up. And then add stairs going in and across like this. And here we go. That's the basic shape for the windows. Now we want to get all of these windows in. And after that, we are going to get another floor on top. 
once you got the first floor in it should exactly look like this now what we're going to do is we're going to build the entrance and add the second floor in to do that you want to build up these pillars six more blocks one two three four five six okay now let's add eight old blocks here and here and let's add two more there then you want to build up these pillars and add your doors like this now here we are going to like i said add another floor so to do that you want to have a pillar again one two three four five six one two three let's go up here you want to go across and have the same windows again and this should just perfectly line up as you can see now you can build this up if you want to and do the same over here okay then you can get this side up so get a row of blocks like this go across and up and now you can get the same window shape so what you want to do is go across and add another floor on top after that we are going to decorate the windows as well once you got the second floor in as well it should look like this now what we're going to do is we're going to add a balcony to this house and to do that you want to do the following you want to go up on this row add a block here and go in each time so add a block here and go in uh, let's go. and each time you want to go in one block simple as that and it should perfectly line up right there okay then you want to take some stairs and go across once you got this in you want to repeat the same thing up there as well and i'm going to show you exactly where to start you just want to start from here uh, i actually forgot to add some stairs here we go then you want to repeat the same thing once more next up what we're going to do is building a balcony now you want to add some iron bars going like this all the way around then you want to go in and go on the third stair and then go diagonally at the first wall then you want to skip one block at the second one block at the third then you can just go up now obviously you want to mix some walls and what i will do is i will mix deep sleigh with the polished one why not and then just build up i will change that in a minute actually here we go and then what we're going to do is we are going to decorate the windows now all the windows are going to look exactly the same so let me show you from this side okay we want to add some stairs going across like this then add a row of stairs like that as well and it is quite simple okay then what you want to do is take some slabs add that in going across like this oops here we go then what i will do is i will use some dark oak trap doors as well just to darken this build a little bit then you want to add some iron bars going across now what you want to do is add a upside down stair down here like this then you can once more add some iron bars 
if you want to you can go ahead and decorate this as well so add a upside down stair like this Do the same thing over on this side then you can add some candles to light it up if you want to and if you don't you can leave it as it is then uh, we're going to decorate this a little bit as well to do that add some stairs again going across and this is all going to be exactly the same as you can see it is a quite simple design to be honest hey let's build this up then you can add a stair here there as well repeat that on this side then you want to go across like that now we are going to add the entrance and fill this in as well in a moment but for now we are going to do the decoration again some slabs uh, actually yeah it's fine i just misplaced this one it should go right here so here we go now we got that in uh what you want to do is take some chains and rods and what i might use is sea lanterns now this is optional but i really like how this looks then add the chains going upwards here we go then obviously you want to add some slabs and then add some trapdoors on top of this uh, let's actually fill this in as well Oops. and i think uh, you get the basic idea for the windows now down here let's fill this in as well but this is actually the basic shape for the windows what i will do is actually i will go for this design without the upside down stair and if you want to you can do exactly the same thing for the glass um i will just use the white stained glass or maybe the black one uh, i think the black stained glass should look lovely yeah i'm going to use the uh, black stained glass but you can definitely use whatever you like to now for the entrance let's make this look a little bit less ugly <laughs> so let's start up with some stairs one block above the door itself then if we go on the back side we can add a pillar on both ends uh, let's take a iron bar and fill this in then you can add some stairs and fill this up with some slabs here we go then you can add iron bar uh, actually now let's have Hmm. yeah let's just have stairs like this here we go i think that looks fine now if you want to you can decorate here as well and what i will do is i will add some leaves with some dark oak fences and i'm going to show you what to do now you want to go in out in out and you don't want to follow this okay otherwise it's going to look weird <laughs> then uh, i'm tempted to use the deep slay wall for this 
and let's get some flowering azalea with some orchids why not okay uh yeah it looks fine and i am actually tempted to change this to dark okay here we go now what you want to do is dig this out and you can just fill this in with some black uh, cobble dip slave slab and then fill it in with some water as well Once you dug out the floor, what you want to do is add stairs going across. Here we go. Then you want to get rid of this as well. And then add the couple dip sleigh. And add a hot source on top. As you got that it should look like this then add a lily pad on top after that what you want to do is you want to get all the windows in as well on the sides and the back side and after that we are going to get a roof in as well once you got all the windows in what we are going to do is we are going to get the roof in now before that you can add some buttons on top like this going across uh, let's get rid of this one i was just testing testing things out okay here we go then once you got that what you want to do is add a row of stairs going across then you want to uh, take some white concrete and then add it behind it so that you can add another top uh, another row on top and this is going to be a pretty big roof so what i will do is i will go up six seven rows and we'll take a look after that and if you want to you can go up even more once you got your roof in, what you want to do is add a staircase right here going down. And for the entrance, what I have decided to do is I have added upside down stairs here and regular stairs going on the edge. Then let's add some candles on top of this as well. Okay, we got a lot of beds over here, so let's fix that first. Here we go now first thing what we're going to do is we're going to take some torches because we're going to add in some extra pillars on the inside so let's start off with that first you want to light everything up so that nothing can spawn over here once we add an additional pillar so now let's add some extra pillars going up We go and once that is done we are going to indicate the roof to start off we are going to add some extra stairs so let's start off actually over here because as you can see this doesn't look that great so let's actually add two more additional pillars on the sides before we do anything else here we go then we are going to take some stairs and we are going to add it in going across here you just want to go in two times like this then underneath you want to add it in as well let's cover this up here we go let's actually do the same thing over on this side like that now actually make sure that the torch isn't visible on the outside like this okay now we can just continue on with our stairs Now what we're going to do is before we cover this up we're going to add some torches over here so that nothing can spawn on top here we go 
go. Then we want to cover it up with some slabs. So next up, we are going to get in the second floor and the second floor is going to start over here. So you just want to cover this with some Sriptarko wood. Here, make sure that you have enough space to enter in and out. So you want to go ahead and cover this like so. Then you can just simply get the second floor in. Take some iron bars and cover this up. You want to leave one block of space just to enter the second floor like this. Then add two lanterns and two more on top. After that, you can just go ahead and place some iron bars just to light this up and just to decorate this a little bit. So next up, we are going to add in some chests. So let's divide this in multiple areas of two. Here we can go in like that and then you can just simply take our chests and place them in. After that take your stairs and you want to go in like this and cover this up. we go then to light this up we're going to add in some iron bars going up and then you can just simply take a lantern and place it in just like that okay now if you want to you can make this a storage area as well I think I'm going to do that just because I feel like we need some more storage. And then we are going to light it up the exact same way. Here we are going to have the living room area. So let's divide this actually like this go then you want to take your black concrete and place it in underneath you just want to add your stairs on top we are going to do the same thing here we go then add your stairs again followed with some iron bars going up take your polished black stone buttons and place them going up like this okay once you're done with that then you want to take some soul campfires and place it underneath just to indicate a fireplace. Take some quartz slabs and we are going to add this in, going across, just to cover the wood over there. Then on these two sides, you can just build it up. Over here, we are going to have a large cooking area. So what you want to do is you want to make a simple, big U-shape like this. Then go in, going across again until this point. Now we are going to do the same thing on top, but you want to go in two blocks this time. And make sure that you stay in line with this. Okay, now the top row, we are going to connect it together like that. Then go ahead and add your stairs going across. On top of this, you want to take your trapdoors and place it in. Go, then take some buttons and place it in again. Underneath, you want to add your slabs going across. 
just like that okay now we got a lovely kitchen then take a furnace or actually two and place it in on top you just want to go ahead and place some walls here we are going to add it in as well just to indicate some pillars Here we go now let's add some buttons on these two sides okay now let's build in a fridge so i'm going to actually use this side so you can just get rid of this place some sugar boxes like that and this will simply indicate a fridge here we go go ahead and take some buttons and place it at the center like that now if you want to you can even add some trap doors underneath just like that here we go now we got the kitchen in as well let's make some places to sit down so you want to have some stairs just like this now well make sure that it lines up then you can take some trap doors and place it in on the sides here we go you can take some slabs and place it in front of it and connect these points together like that now you can just add some more tap doors and open them up. Here we go. And we are going to have some more decoration over here. We are going to actually add some bookshelves. So first you just want to add in some pillars. Then add some bookshelves going all the way up. Just like that. Now this actually feels very flat. So let's change it a little bit. By adding some stairs like this then we're going to connect this point at some point but now we still need a enchanting room and I want to build it actually over here we got enough space to do that so let's take an enchanting table and let's place it actually right here then let's surround this with some bookshelves here we go now we need to make sure that it is actually at center so let's add some additional pillars on both sides here we go then let's build this up this as well followed with some stairs connecting these two points then you can just simply build up with some bookshelves again take a chain place it in followed with a lantern just to light this up then you can just add a button let's uh, actually build another pillar next to this going up like this and after that you can just add some buttons going all the way up take some trap doors and we're going to place it in okay place a grindstone at the center followed with a barrel over here and here we go that is almost going to be it but we still need to do a couple more things so let's add some stairs on the sides and then followed with some slabs here we go now we got the enchanting room as well here we are going to build in a fireplace so let's build up some extra pillars then take your stairs again place it in going across like this take your iron bars place them in then on the back side you want to add two campfires and on top what we're going to do is actually the same thing so you just want to add some extra blocks on the back side take your campfires place them in followed with some iron bars and on the sides we are going to do the same thing here we go now we got a fireplace in as well okay then let's go ahead and let's cover this up Here we go here we're going to add some barrels like this on top you want to go ahead and place some iron trap doors here we're going to add two more actually four more barrels followed with some iron bars on the sides then on top you just want to go ahead and go across with some stairs again if you want to you can add some stairs on the sides add some iron bars then we're going to add a chain on both sides followed with a soul lantern here we go and we still need to decorate these walls which is going to be very simple 
Now for the walls on the sides, we're going to add some paintings. So let's actually go in with some stairs. Then you can just take some paintings and cover this up. Here we go. Now you can definitely add a lot more decoration to this if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and add some extra stairs. Followed with some chains going up. Take some entrants and replace these chains with a entrant just to light this up as well. Here we go. Now let's move up and let's build in the second floor. Okay, now for the second floor, we are going to have a bedroom. Let's start off by outlining it. It's going to be over here. It's going to be a pretty big bedroom. Then we are going to have a entrance over here and another entrance over here as well. So you can just simply build all of this up. Connect these two points. Okay, now we got a singular window over on this side and let's make actually another window over here as well. Just like that. Okay, go ahead and place some stairs going across. Add some extra stairs for the windows. Here we are going to replace this with some stairs, and this as well. Now here we are going to do the same thing. Then you can just take some glass and place it in. Then you want to take your stairs and we are going to get rid of these blocks. And place a stair going across. So. Then you want to add some chains going up. Take four dark oak doors and place it in. Now on the inside, we are going to add some extra pillars as well. Okay, now once that is done, we can actually move on and let's start decorating this. So to start off, we are going to add some extra stairs. this and underneath as well here we are going to cover this up and here we go now once that is done we are going to build in some extra storage areas over here and we are going to have the bedroom over on this side let's take some chests and let's place it in Then take some quartz stairs, place it in like this. Here you just want to add another stair. And this is just for decoration purposes. Take some iron bars again and place it in. And on top of this, you can just add some multiple soul lanterns just to decorate this a little bit more. Then add four blocks like this, well actually four like this. Then add two beds on top. 
followed with some stairs on the back side and then you just want to build up with some pillars and on the side we're going to add an additional pillar take stone buttons and place it in going up on the sides you just want to add some stairs like this and then take your iron bars and place them going up here we go take the dark oak trap doors place it in and open them up just like that okay now let's add some extra stairs we still need to light this up a little bit so take a sea lantern let's place it on the corner then add some trap doors and open them up here at the corner we're going to add another one as well followed with a trap door okay now that is done over here we're going to add some stairs going across until this point take some paintings and place it in as well just like that over here we're going to have some more decorations so just add some barrels followed with some chests on the sides then add some iron bars going up as well okay now this wall over here we're going to add some paintings so you just want to go across take your paintings and place them in then let's add some storage areas over here as well I want to go actually until this point because we are going to add a row of stairs again. Then to light this up, we are going to add actually some sea lanterns. Then we are going to cover it up with some trapdoors. Okay, let's light up this area as well. Okay, now let's have some decoration over here with some stairs and some paintings again. But we are going to divide this in multiple areas like this. Then take some iron bars again and place it in. And on top we are going to do the same thing. Okay, and that is going to be the decoration for this. Now you can definitely add a lot more things to this house. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build in an extra pillar like this we're going to go in some multiple blocks just to indicate a wall actually so it doesn't look that flat once you enter the second floor okay now let's add another pillar over here let's start dividing this again replace some bookshelves going up like that now if you want to you can even add some more bookshelves which is what i'm going to do just to decorate all of this as well now you can definitely add a lot more decoration to this what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in a relaxing area just to fill this in as well because otherwise we're going to have a lot of empty space which is something we do not want to have then go ahead and place a lantern on both sides to light it up and after that we're going to go in one more block Add some stairs going across and on top we are going to do the same thing. Then you can just take some iron bars, place it in like this and then take some paintings, place that in as well. Over here we are going to keep it simple, we are going to go across with some stairs. And for this area what we are going to do is quite simple, we are going to add in some extra stairs like this. And then we are going to keep it as some windows. Okay, let's fix this side as well. Okay, then take some bookshelves and place it in.
and take some iron bars place it in as well and on top we want to do the same thing we still need to light this up and again we're going to use a sea lantern in this corner light it up after that add some trapdoors on top like this and here we go now you can definitely add a lot more to this if you want to but i'm going to keep it as it is and i'm actually pretty happy with how this one turned out and if you enjoyed this one leave a comment or if you have suggestions let me know in the comments as well have a nice day i see you the next time.